All right, we're back for more Dragon Age Origins playthrough. And we're uh, about to witness the battle for Red Cliff. So here we go. Let's get at it. Oh, now I you. see it found some augmentation crystals. I was not even aware it knew about them. Well done. So, what does it think? They don't make me look any wider, do they? I find I'm already too wide as it is. I think they're so pretty. They are, aren't they? I so adore them. I think it should find some more as soon as possible. I want to glitter from ear to ear, so to speak. Uh, we'll save that, but I want... The repairs are underway surprisingly quickly, considering how drunk Owen is. We may just make it. I'm ready to make my stand. Let's wait for sundown. Are you sure? There's still time left if you need to talk with Sir Perth or do anything else. No, um... Well, actually... No, I'm ready now. Then good luck to you. You'll need it. Uh, I'm pretty much set up on every front that I can think of, and poison's not gonna help against undead. Get to your positions! Make ready! I like that scene. Oh, like the traps! Oh. Uh. I got it. Oh, it's right here. Alright, let's get out. John.
Wait, we need help! Nice, stay there and guard the path. Come on, we need to hurry!
God, they're all dead. Really? Seriously, come on, man. Fuck. Dawn arrives, and we survive the night. We are victorious. And though this victory came at great cost, we must remember none of us would be here were it not for the heroism of these good folk beside me. I thank you, dear lady. Truly the Maker smiled on us when he sent you here in our darkest hour. I will be discussing our reward soon. If need be. With luck, we'll be discussing that with my brother. Let us bow our heads and give honor to those who gave their lives in defense of Redcliffe. Murdoch of Redcliffe, mayor and beloved father, we salute you. You and so many others who have perished here, walk with he who is your maker. Long may you know the peace of his love. With the Maker's favor, the blow we delivered today is enough for me to enter the castle and seek out your Arl. Be wary and watch for signs of renewed attack. We shall return with news as soon as we are able. Yeah, it is kind of sad. Now, we've no time to waste. Save all the Meet me villagers. at the mills. We can talk further there. Really? All of that and I can't collect it. Like that shitty. Yeah, why not? Okay, well, battle is won. Not you. Good day. These are terrible times. Just terrible. You saved us. I can't believe we're alive, and it's finally over. What are you going to do now? With mother and father both gone, I suppose they'll send us to an orphanage, maybe separated. At least we're both alive. I won't forget what you did, though. Neither of us will. Thank you. Why do you have to go to an orphanage? With mother and father dead, we don't have any money. I think we have relatives in Denerim, but we've no way to get there. We'll be fine. I promised mother I'd see to Bevan's safety, and I will. Perhaps I can help you get to Denerim. Oh! Your path is probably much too dangerous for us. There are wagons going there, but it would be expensive. I'm sure 500 silver will cover it. Oh, how generous we are today, it appears. That's... that's incredibly kind of you. This is more than I ever dreamed of. With this, I can hire a wagon to take us to Denerim. 
We have family there, and they'll take us in for sure now. Come on, Bevin, let's find one now. Make a watch over you. I'll never forget you. Eh, that hurt. Thought it might come to a different kind of reward than that, but uh, but I think he got the mail. It's all right. God Almighty, she's only one. Thank the maker, my brother and his family made it out of Lothering. Someone ought to put a stop to this fighting. There's going to be a civil war if this keeps up. I admit, for a while, I didn't think either of us would survive. It's good to see you did. It's good to see you too. Anything I can get you? I need some supplies. Fair enough. Let me see what Lloyd stored in the back. You can help yourself. Oh, Jesus, criminy. Line. Wasn't even at the landsman, isn't it? Well then, that's all she wrote on that. Now it's time to hit up the castle. It is sad to think of how much death there has been here. But we have saved the village beyond all expectations. You have done well, my friend. I will remain here to guard the village and receive any fellow knights as they continue to return. At least until the castle is retaken. Odd how quiet the castle looks from here. You would think there was nobody inside at all. But I shouldn't delay things further. I had a plan to enter the castle after the village was secure. There is a secret passage here, in the mill, accessible only to my family. Why didn't you mention this before? I knew you would choose to enter the castle instead of staying in the village. And we needed warriors. I'm sorry if I... Maker's breath. Tigan. Thank the Maker, you yet live. Isolde. You're alive. How did you... What has happened? I do not have much time to explain. I slipped away from the castle as soon as I saw the battle was over. And I must return quickly. And I... need you to return with me, Tigan. Alone. We will need more of an explanation than that. What? Uh, who is this woman, Tigan? Were it not for her help, Isolde, I would not be here. I owe her my life. And we crush the heads of rude women when we feel like it. Just so you know. Oh, man. Pardon me, I... I would exchange pleasantries, but... Considering the circumstances... Please, Isolde, we had no idea anyone was even alive within the castle. We must have some answers. I know you need more of an explanation, but I... I, I don't know what is safe to tell. Tigan, there is a terrible evil within the castle. The dead waken and, and hunt the living. The maid responsible was caught, but still it continues. And I think Connor is going mad. We have survived, but he won't flee the castle. He has seen so much death. You must help him, Tigan. You are his uncle. You could reason with him. I do not know what else to do. What about Arl Eamon? Is he still alive? He is. He is being kept alive so far, thank the Maker. Kept alive? Kept alive by what? 
Something the mage unleashed. So far it allows Eamon, Connor and myself to live. The others were not so fortunate. It killed so many and turned their bodies into walking nightmares. Once it was done with the castle, it struck the village. It wants us to live, but I do not know why. It allowed me to come for you, Tigan, because I begged, because I said Connor needed help. Tell me about this mage you mentioned. He is an infiltrator, I think. Uh, one of the castle staff. We discovered he was poisoning my husband. That is why Eamon fell ill. Eamon was poisoned? He claims an agent of Terran Loghains hired him. He may be lying, however. I cannot say. At least that agent... Oh, in the village, he was hired by our Eamon to die. That I do like, but at least it was for cause. Why do I get the feeling you aren't telling us everything? I... I beg your pardon? That's a rather impertinent accusation. Not if it's true. An evil I cannot fathom holds my son and the husband hostage. I came for help. What more do you want from me? Tigan, I do not have much time. What if it thinks I'm betraying it? It could kill Connor. Please come back with me. Must I beg? Do you think this evil could be some kind of demon? I... I do not know. Oh, Maker's mercy. Could it truly be a demon? I can't let it hurt my Connor. You must come back with me, Tigan. Please! So why must he go alone? For Connor's sake. I promised I would return quickly and only with Tigan. Tigan, I know you could order your men to follow me when I return to the castle. I beg you not to. For Connor's sake. Alright, we must decide what to do. The king is dead, and we need my brother now more than ever. I will return to the castle with you, Isol. <gasps> Thank the Maker. Bless you, Tegan. Bless you. Seems you have a little choice. I have no illusions of dealing with this evil alone. You, on the other hand, have proven quite formidable. Isolde, can you excuse us for a moment? We must confer in private before I return to the castle with you. Please do not take too long. I will be by the bridge. Here's what I propose. I go in with Isolde, and you enter the castle using the secret passage. My signet ring unlocks the door. Perhaps I will distract whatever evil is inside and increase your chances of getting in unnoticed. What do you say? Uh, what am I exactly am I supposed to do in there? I wish I knew. I don't know any more about this evil force than Isolde seems to. Sir Perth and his men can watch for danger at the castle entrance. If you can open the gates from within, they can move in and help you. I don't think there's anyone else who can help you. If you choose not to go, then it's up to me to do what I can. Here is my signet ring. It will open the lock on the door in the mill. Whatever you do, Eamon is the priority here. If you have to, just get him out of there. Isolde, me, and anyone else, we are expendable. I understand. I will do my best. You're a good woman. The Maker smiled on me indeed when he sent you to Redcliffe. So we are just going to send him with that woman? It seems so dangerous. But I can delay no longer. Allow me to bid you farewell. And good luck. Move along, friend. Very well. Thank you. I'll get on it.
I wonder who built this tunnel and why. This is more my liking. A little backstab and never hurt anyone. <laughs> Anyone alive out there? I really hate this guy. Wait, you don't look like the Arlesses guards. Are you from outside the castle? Yes, I came in through a secret tunnel. Uh, possibly. Who? Where are you supposed to be? My name is Jowan. I'm a mage Lady Isolde hired to tutor her son Connor. Until they uh, threw me into the dungeon here. You're the one who poisoned the Arl? I'm not proud of it. The Arlesa had no idea what I was hired to do when she took me in to tutor Connor. I... I know it looks suspicious, but I'm not responsible for the creatures and the killings in the castle. I was already imprisoned when all that began. At first, Lady Isolde came here with her men, demanding that I reverse what I'd done. I thought she meant my poisoning of the Arl. That's the first I heard about the walking corpses. She thought I'd summoned a demon to torment her family and destroy Redcliffe. She had me tortured. There was nothing I could do or say that would appease her. So they left me to rot. So did you summon this demon? No, I know nothing about summoning demons. Why did you poison Arl Eamon? I was instructed to by Terran Loghain. Oh. I was told that Arl Eamon was a threat to Ferelden. That if I dealt with him, Loghain would settle matters with the Circle. You see, I'm a Malifica. A blood mage. You? A blood mage? Truly? I would never have guessed. I dabbled in the Forbidden Arts, and they condemned me to death for it. I thought Loghain was giving me a chance to redeem myself. But he's abandoned me here, hasn't he? Everything's fallen apart, and I'm responsible. I have to make it right somehow. I have to. Why did our lesson need a mason tutor or son? Connor had started to show signs. Lady Isolde was terrified the circle of magi would take him away for training. She sought an apostate, a mage outside the circle, to teach her son in secret so he could learn to hide his talent. Her husband had no idea. Why would Isolde be frightened of her son becoming a mage? Because he would be taken away forever. A mage cannot inherit a title, even the son of a powerful Arl. She's also a pious woman. Her son having magic was humiliating. Why, perhaps her son is responsible for what happened? I thought that too. Connor has little knowledge of magic, but he may have done something to tear open the veil. With the veil to the Fade torn, spirits and demons could infiltrate the castle. Powerful ones could kill and create those walking corpses. How much magic did you teach Connor? Some, but he's still very young. He can barely cast a minor spell, never mind something more powerful. At least not intentionally. Like I said, he may have torn the veil accidentally. If he's involved in this at all, I really don't know. I think I understand that. I never meant for it to end like this. I swear. Let me help you fix this. I say this boy could still be of use to us, but if not, then let him go. Why keep him prisoner here? He wishes to redeem himself. Doesn't everyone deserve that chance? Like yourself, you mean? Everyone deserves a chance to redeem themselves in the Maker's eyes. This man, no less than any. Give me a chance, please. So how will you make things right? 
I... Well, I tried to save anyone still up there. There must be something I can do. And after that, what happens? Afterwards? I assume I'll be arrested. Or executed. Or whatever people like me get. I'm tired of running from the circle. I need to account for what I've done. That's commendable, if it's true. I'm glad you think so. So what now? I'm letting you have your seal. Don't try anything. You're letting me out? And what then? You come with me, that's what. I'm not sure that's a good idea. I'd like to help out, but... I'm not so sure I want to follow you into danger, exactly. Beggars can't be choose, just come and stay here. Uh, would you rather I kill you? I... No, I don't want to die. I guess you'll do what you have to, and so will I. Oh, time to die already, Jesus. Very well. Speak. Which way did I... I'll get on it. Focus. back here as possible since so they're rising from corpses and all that. Alright, alright. Now's better than later.
and make it villainy. Alright, let's see what's in here. Okay. Okay. 
about to cast heal on it. so you can get off my back. Well, if anything, it allows me to get to work, I guess. A little backstabbing never hurt anyone. <laughs> Best you, I can kill it in two blows. Yes. Fourth lock device mastery. Yes. That's a good one. And thus I cloak my naked villainy. I see a trap. That's what saves your butt.
Got it. All right. Go down to the cellar. I'll play. She's who I'm looking for. If you get out of my way, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Valena, the Arlesa's maid. Is she all right? What happened to everyone? Uh, Valena, the Smith's daughter. You know my father. I want to go back to the village. Is there a way out of here? There's a tunnel leading out into the dungeon. But, but the monsters! I've killed most of them. It's safe. I'll find my way. I can run fast and I know the castle. Thank you. That's good. That's done at least. <laughs> I like the sound here of the music. The sound effects, anyway. 
You have opened the gates. That is good. My men and I are eager to see our Arl again. Shall we enter the main hall together? Uh, it must be held if we are to regain control of the castle. Uh, no, I would prefer to go alone. As you wish. We will hold the gate and watch for anyone attempting to leave. Let me know if the situation changes. I didn't know I was going to walk right into that main part because I'm going to be saving that for next time. Because uh, I'm going to end it, the video here. Uh, thanks for doing some dungeon crawling with me. And yes, I killed Jawan because I can't stand him. Anyway, hey, thanks. Bye for now.